Yo guys, what's going on? Jackson here from Rune TCG, and today I am super excited to be bringing you guys another video on the channel where today I'm going to be going over and showing you guys what the Game Crafter sent me. At least some of the stuff. And then I'll be opening up the new uh, Black and White Starter Decks. But before I get into it, if you want to help support me in any way possible, more than just subscribing and liking the video, you could buy these packs down below in the description. It's the Game Crafter link. Or you could buy the starter decks, which are also down on that link. Like, it'll bring you to my, like, kind of creator page where it has all my things that you can buy. So, let's just get right into the video. First up, what I want to show you guys. I'm not sure if I can really show you, but I made these, like, um, booster boxes, I guess. That I can, like, I'm not, probably not going to be selling them because they're really expensive. And I don't think anybody would ever buy them. So, but I, I bought one of each set, and I think they're really cool. But yeah, so this is what they kind of look like. Let me know, and then there's also minions on the bottom of every single one. It's really hard to see, but... So yeah, I did that. Um, I got a bunch of packs, but here's the main event, really, of the video. Boom. I guess it's really hard to see both of them at the same time. But, uh, yeah, the black and the white starter decks. Um, white is the Chinampa Dynasty, and black is the Mitsoga Outcast. I, I'm really proud of how these decks, like, kind of showed up and came out in the end. So let's just get right into it, unboxing and showing you everything that you would get if you purchased one. So we kind of start out with, start with the white one. It has the boss minion at the start, at the front. Like a kind of weaker minion on the back. And it says, in this box, uh, 30 main cards and 15 rune cards. Claim your rightful place as ruler of the lands of Chinampa. Serve your domain with a powerful yet peaceful force. And then it's on the sides too. And then you can check my YouTube channel out. With this just belongs to at the top. Just like all my other starter decks. So yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm just going to open this just to kind of give you guys an in-depth view of what you would get if you got a starter deck so if you were gonna buy a starter deck um i kind of recommend them i think they're probably the best value because you get an actual playable deck and you can kind of learn how to play rune tcg with them so yeah they're really cool and if you're gonna buy one for you and one for a friend i would recommend probably these two or the other ones are fine like they're all they're all balanced basically to each other but I think that... I, well, I balance white and black to be perfect against each other. Like, it's a 50-50 matchup, basically. But... And so it's a... It's the same thing with the green, blue, and red. But you... If you get, like... I don't really know how they match up against, like, a black versus the red sort of deck. I don't really know that. I haven't really done that. So, let's just open it up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pause the video real quick, and I'm gonna go sort it. Okay, we're back. So now I'm... Uh, I, I, so I sorted them all out. So first up, you get 15 white runes with the deck. And they're the set 2 variant, not the set 1 or 3. So I think that's pretty cool. It's the same thing for the black, but I, you'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you that in a few minutes. So yeah, you get 15 white runes with the deck. Now let's just get right into the cards that you get. So first up is Chinampa Iga. You get three copies of it. Next up, you get three copies of Chinampa Sock Sock. Three copies of Chinampa Kea. Th two copies of Chinampa Pakwa, which is the boss minion. Three copies of Chinampa Royal Scepter. Three copies of Chinampa Power Lily. Yeah, two copies of Greedy Dice. Really good card. Two copies of Geld Looking Glass. Three copies of Appendez. That's a really good card. Another draw oriented card. And then an attacker for the deck, Vebiet Schlab. Two copies of him. Got one copy of Reincarnation. It's a very strong staple. And then three copies of Into the Shadows. That concludes that deck. 
So if you remember, white kind of, or this white deck wants to draw as many cards as possible and then gain points without attacking with their abilities and stuff. So it's a really strong card like that, or deck like that. And I recommend, if you're sorting out your rune deck, I recommend having the runes in one pile, then your deck in the other, and then placing, putting them like face up like that, right next to each other, and then putting them in your deck. At least that's what I like to do. It makes it really easy to sort and play with right away without having to like go through all your runes and all that again. So that's really fun. So yeah, that's a great starter deck to start out with. Um, I think that's a little bit easier to learn how to play. Okay, so with that now, we can just go and open up the black starter deck. So let's get right into it. Sorry if you hear some voices outside. I'm not recording in my normal spot today because it was not, uh, it didn't look that great. So there's the lighting was out. So with the black starter deck, it's the same basic thing. The most will go outcast on both sides. This deck belongs to at the top, so you can write your name down. And then the uh, YouTube channel. Now, the there's a little bit different flavor text, so retake the mysterious lands of the Mitsoga Plain with this, with the outcasts. With their quick combos and strong attacks, no minion is truly gone. Really cool flavor text, I think. I, I don't really like doing all that much, like, kind of lore and stuff. I've never been into it. But let me know down in the comments if you think I actually should, like some other creators like to do. So, I'm going to um, open this up, but I'm going to have to sort them again. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Okay, so now, with um, the Black Star deck, you get 15 black runes instead of the white runes. And they also are the set too, like I said. And yeah, so... That's, you get that in every Star deck, 15 of a different color. But, let's get right into it. So, you get three copies of the Mitsoga Flea. Three copies of Mitsoga Arch Anki. Three copies of Mitsoga Pila. Two copies of Mitsoga Monstrosity. Three copies of Mitsoga Meat Platter. Three copies of Mitsoga Debt Farmer. Remember, you can always pause the video and read what they do because I do have to go through this kind of fast because there were two decks to go through but yeah uh, Mitso then we have Frasless Treasure Chest not Mitsoga three copies of it then we have one copy of Reincarnation because having two copies of Reincarnation is really strong you so it's a starter deck that's why you can't have all the good staple cards in it next I think we yeah two copies of the um, Bone Dragon it's a really strong card like I pointed out in the last video where we went over Oh. Then we have uh, two copies of Recycle, a good uh, discard pile deck or card. Two copies of Flaxoid, a zero cost minion who's pretty good at attacking and aggro early game. Then we have three copies of Into the Shadows, just like the white deck. So, personally, I, I kind of like the black deck a little bit more because the way I like to play card games is I like doing or performing really long combos in a single turn and getting a big advantage. Uh, on turns and stuff. So that's the way I like to play. So I actually think both decks kind of can do that, but Black does it more in a more flashy way. So that's why I like Black a little bit more. But let me know down in the comments which one you like more. And if you made it to the end of the video, you probably like the content I make. So yeah, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.